And we're here again. In the beautiful world of no snow running. Okay. So. Last episode we left off. This truck was stuck down there. Now it's stuck right here. Because physics. Which uh, I'd love to understand the physics of this game. Considering the fact that I sat here. And used that truck. To pull this one out of that hole. How the hell that works, I ain't got a fucking close. Now I can apparently drive this thing without the trailer, attach, winch it, and then drive it. Because that's fucking logic, too. Now I'm gonna get stuck right here, and I'm gonna have to grab that truck and use it again, though, for this thing. Because, again, physics. up here. I pause it. What I need. This way to do so. Right there. You stay going forward. You don't have to go backward. Get it up there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Attach. Management. Wait, wait, that's waiting. Where the hell am I supposed to drop these things? Let's drop them here somewhere. Yeah, here. You drop it right there. Done. <laughs> ah. So we finally got that job done. Now we need to deliver this fuel up to the house. And we can see what we can do next. I do want to go ahead and go to the other maps with the scout truck and try to find the upgrades for this thing get the race suspension mainly I need to get it leveled up so I can get the better tires since right now I'm only freaking I don't know where the hell it would tell me what level I am right now I don't know I'd be like 8 or something to be able to get it there's the thing this guy? yeah, yeah. that's where we're going right now so just straight up the road drop off this fuel now we need to get the scout truck, take him down, get him refilled, because this trailer's about empty right now. And then we'll maybe go see if we can pull out the other scout truck real quick. I do have a uh, mission right there, actually. I wonder what that is. Get this out of the quick and I'll switch over to the scout truck and take it over there and see what that is. So it might have something to do with the trailer sitting right beside it. If so, I might as well go ahead and pull it up. Okay, if you go to the truck. Why are you looking over there? I simply click on the truck and hit the enter button. You should switch me to the truck. Uh. This game seriously annoys the hell out of me at times. Especially when it comes to anything physics, because it makes no logical sense. Like, trying to back up this truck with the trailer is physically impossible. It does not follow any kind of freaking logic. I backed up plenty of trailers, and this is physically impossible. What does this thing want? I need a trailer delivered to the middle of a river. Why? I can't tell you. Are you in or not? You want this trailer delivered to the middle of a river. And you can't tell me why. Is 
You just want it fluid out there. Yeah, that ain't happening. You can kiss my ass. That trailer can stay right the hell there. I am not trying to get that trailer over there. Not with that stupid thing. Well, we're here. We might as well go ahead and put a little bit more gas in here. Leaves us with 57 liters, gallons, whatever that is. Not sure. Change the truck. All right. Full up on the gas. We have no weight on the trailer behind us. So it should be a lot easier to drag around. Why I'm still dragging it around, I don't know, but we are. Shut up. <sighs> right, we'll go ahead, get this up here to the fuel tank. Look at the missions we have real quick. See if there's any of them I could do to possibly try to get some good experience. Maybe we'll do those. If not, then we'll go into the other maps. I'm trying to get the weight suspension at least for this thing. And we're already getting stuck again. Figure. Shoving the damn transmission and bumper into the damn car. Get it stuck on the bumper right there in the middle. Right, drive shaft connects. Do I want the way suspension so bad, but I also want the mud tires. Like trying to do more missions, I can level up and get the damn. Both of them would help a lot. I mean, look at that wheel spin. That damn near no fucking traction right now. Get you a little bit of mud and bumpers in the dirt. Hell, I'm getting about sick of this. I ain't even made it to the snow yet. I said connect. Why are you not connecting? Why don't that twig break? That twig should not be holding. It makes no sense. Other ones like that break against them, which I expect. They're twigs. Yet every now and then I find one of those that just don't. That's not logic. have to make sense, but damn it, this is a freaking game that's supposed to be physics about driving through mud and snow. I'd like a little bit of logic.
See that place? That little twig back there? Oh no, it can hold off perfectly. Right. Another big issue is trailers in this game. I know, they're trailers. They add weight to the back of the truck. They're supposed to act like that. But not this terribly. I mean, this is a heavy duty truck. It's made for pulling something. Yet you put one frickin' trail on it, even with nothing, and you can barely pull it. Why? Stuck, detached trailer, oh, well, it's just fine. Why? No reason. Random tree just popping out of it for no reason, too. Because, freaking illogic. Okay, now we got both of those jobs done. Cross the river, not fucking happening. Lost bags, require a flag, or a train. This wants me to take the scout truck and hit the flags. That is something we could do, but we only get 80 XP for it, so really worth it right now? No. Unlucky fisherman, that's retrieved that truck, which will garnish me 250. Which goes there to there, so that would be a viable option to do right now. But like I said, I do need gas. And the only gas station on this map is that one up there, right? Yeah, I think. So we gotta get the hell up there and get some gas. Okay. So, pretty much now we need to go back to the scout truck. See, it does have 23% in it. You yeah, got enough for a couple fills out of this thing. Alright, we're gonna say screw the gas station for a moment and try to go get that scout truck out of there. Try to return it for the 250 XP. It's not very much when you think about how much I actually need, but it'll get me something and it shouldn't be that hard to get a hold of either. This truck can do pretty much whatever I want it to do. So it should be able to get down there and get a hold of it. We do have that other busted one out there in the swamp, so there ain't no way in hell I'm trying to get to it right now. It wouldn't really help me anyways, I don't think. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm actually not recording at my normal time right now. Twicken. Damn near noon. Usually I'd be asleep at this point. I ended up actually falling asleep last night while I was waiting on my headset to charge. I kind of woke up a little bit early. Decided to go ahead and get back to it. Get a couple more of these recorded for you guys. I knew I hated this road. Yeah. And that's why I keep the autonomous winch on this side. I could get stronger winches, but none of them are autonomous. I'd much rather have the autonomous. Here comes in real handy with this thing. to advance the time so we can see what it is we're doing again. There we go. Let's see what the hell is going on. Kind of amusing little story for you guys. This day, that guy needed me to go get him some more dip. There's a uh, tobacco shop right across from where I work right now. So I just walk over there and grab his dip real quick. And as most of y'all know, me and that guy got long hair. We like our hair being long. And that day I had my hair down in my face. I don't really understand it fully, but for some reason I just feel a lot more comfortable with my hair in my face. A lot of people say it's annoying as hell. I feel comfortable. Uh, whenever I don't have my hair pulled back at work, I'll have it down in front of my face. But since right now I'm walking to work, I have a uh, backpack I carry with me. And a couple businesses haven't been too happy about that fact that I've been walking around with a backpack. Like uh, Dollar General, they have me put it behind the counter when I walk in the door. So I walk in, walk over, and shit. Yep, knew that was coming. Yeah, I don't care, bullshit. Okay, how's the truck started right now? Yeah, so if I decide I want some chips or something on the way to work and I go into Dollar General, I'll put my bag behind the counter, then go get whatever. Put that. But 
I went into the tobacco shop and I had my hands on my face, like I said, carrying my backpack as usual. And suddenly, gold behind the counter hollers at me, so I need to get my hair out of my face. I look over at her. She's, of course, got her mask on. Let's find that funny. You want me to not have my face covered, but yet you wear your mask. Kind of a double, double standard there, don't you think? <laughs> uh, to me, that's funny. I'm guessing the backpack wasn't helping anything, because they do kind of give me a dirty look anyways when you're walking there carrying it. People around this town don't trust people. Which, from what I hear, I can understand, because I don't live exactly in the greatest of places, but... Like I tell everybody, you mind yours, people mind theirs. I don't bother nobody, nobody bothers me. Which, to an extent, could be a lot better for everybody if people would do so. Just, like I said, to an extent. It'd be great if we could go back to the old days and let kids go out and do whatever the hell they wanted because, well, everybody in the neighborhood knew who the hell they were and watched them for you. If they got in their asses in trouble, they'd get their asses beat by the people that saw them do it, the people that took them home, and their parents when they got home. Uh, you know, you know they were fine. Wasn't even around and I miss those days. Saw a kid doing something stupid, go out there, beat their ass, call their parents, they took their ass to beat again. Nowadays, freaking child abuse. What is that mission right there? Threatening something. Not threatening. Threatening action. Okay, uh, not worried about that right now. Yeah, like my dad was telling me last time, I told him about the whole tobacco shop thing. Uh, when he was six, freaking my grandpa would send him down to the store to get a pack of cigarettes. He'd go down there, they'd call up my grandpa, he'd say, Yep, yeah. tell him to give you the thing in his pocket to give him that stuff too. I do that, he'd come home and give dad cigarettes. Nowadays, child services would be waiting on the porch for you. Looking ridiculous. Okay, now that truck's over here somewhere. So if we head down, stop doing that camera. Should be up the road right here. Head right on down here. It should take us right around to about where that is. And we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, I remember that's a bad spot right there. Avoid that. <sighs> ah, time changing it. Said many a times, you can see exactly how it happened too. It's father's generation grew up getting their fucking ass beat for being stupid. Some parents didn't take the time and effort to say, hey, you don't fuck up and be an idiot, I ain't gonna fucking beat your ass. Explain it to the kid, and the kid grows up, well, my parents beat up you, me. Bullshit. And then they don't want to beat their kid. The kids fucking need it. They don't want to do it because they fucking were abused as kids. So they claim. No, no, they weren't. 
kiss my ass. The entire generation grows up without getting their fucking ass beat. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to be a... That's a high flow river. With very little to hook to on the other side, so there ain't no way in hell I'm shoving the truck. At least not back here. I am seeing this spot here, which actually looks a lot more appealing to do so. And so you got my whole generation growing up feeling they can do whatever the hell they want. Because ain't nobody fucking ever beat their damn ass on them otherwise. What the kids need. Good old fashioned ass beating every now and then. Teach them not to be so fucking stupid. What I'm seeing nowadays ain't even got a fucking work there. It's gotten so bad at work, I've literally told multiple of my night managers that if y'all need me to come up there and help, I do not have a problem with it at all. You say you need help, I will come up and I will help. But I am not coming up there and doing anybody's job for them. Because, I kid you not, while I'm sitting up there, I'm grabbing my dishes, getting them on my cart to take back and get clean. I'll hear somebody on the other side of the table Holler that they need some product, nuggets, or something. Nobody will be shit. Uh, Nobody will be over there except for me. I sure as hell ain't gonna do it for them. Because they'll say they need it, and then I'll look over at them and they'll start leaning on the damn fridge, pull out the phone, and start playing on it, and just stand there. Like you just said, you need this product, and now you're not going to do shit to get it. You can clearly tell nobody's over here. Bad thing is, I know exactly where everybody's supposed to be, and exactly where they are at the moment. Like half the time, the person that's supposed to be on Pride product is sitting back in the damn prep area, playing on the damn phone, eating Taco Bell. Which again, is something... That's two violations right there, because you should not have outside food in the kitchen in the first place. Should as hell should not be eating it on a freaking workstation. Is there anybody gonna say shit? No. I've tried saying shit, and because I'm not a manager, ain't nobody gonna listen to me. If I was, I don't think they would, but at least if I was a manager, then I could actually you know, do something about it which I bugged the hell out of my freaking boss to make me a damn manager but all the stuff I'm seeing around the store ain't being done I should have hell ain't getting promoted right now she ain't doing a damn thing about anything else anyway but, now, I don't mind helping when people actually need help. But I'm not going to do it for you. It's just the way it is. But I'm not going to come up there and do your work for you so you can sit there and eat the freaking food and play on your damn phone all day back. And I know I'm kind of a hypocrite a little bit, but Well, as I see it, I have my job, I do my job. I'm more than happy to come help with whatever anybody needs help with. And if y'all don't need my help and my job is done, I go sit in the freaking crew room and relax until I have more dishes to do. But I don't do it until my work is done and there ain't nothing for me to do at the exact moment. 
then and only then will I go sit down in the damn pool. Just my job is done. I just to get my job done. Well, what I can of my job done. I can't get it all done because, well, we're still open. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Full circle. Ah, stupid trailer stopping. Again, how am I turning the truck on right now? I don't understand that. This would be a lot easier if I could get up here on the hill real quick. Really, I'm making this a whole lot more difficult than it be. Okay. Up here on the hill. I can get it up to here. Go ahead and refill the truck. Fat out of gas. And then we're going to go ahead and end it here for today. Day guys we do have that truck I can pull it we'll get to it in the next one and we'll get it up to it in speed so I hope y'all have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one lettuce